Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Howler for an Hour. This time we're checking out a game called Cassette Beasts. This is a monster turn-based RPG open world game. Kind of makes me think a little bit of Pokemon, but also has a fusion mechanic where the main characters actually turn themselves into the monsters and also possibly fuse themselves with other monsters. Seems interesting. A little bit of themes of transformation. We'll see what they do with that. I'm kind of curious. But uh, let's check this out and see if it's any good. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come on over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but of course we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. Because it really does help out, and we'd honestly love to have your support. We could always use more people. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool items. All links are in the description so you can check them out at your leisure. That being said, this is a really chill song. Hopefully the volume is good. We'll find out once we're in game. Let's begin with our first cassette. Now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of Wirral. There are few thereabouts that either God nor other or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, unknown author of 14th search history. What is the wilderness of Wirral? Okay. All right, fair enough then. Who are you? Um, Charm, I guess. Pronouns. Uh, he, him. Favorite color. Well, that doesn't even change much, but I guess my favorite color would be purple. Skin color, I don't know, I guess that. Hairstyle. Uh, there are quite a few options, including a Texan hat. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see then. Kind of dig that hairstyle, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's nice with a bandana. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so. Are those cat ears? They are. That's good. I appreciate that. <laughs> Old man <laughs> style. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll go with this style. Hair color. Hmm. Hair accessory color. Oh, that's easy. Let's go with green. Or teal if it's an option. It is not. Teal it is then. Oh, it actually is closer. Yeah, okay. Face. Eyeshadow. <laughs> Beard. Beard and eyeshadow. Grumpy. Visor, you say? I'm getting all fancy up in here. Face mask. Half face paint plane. Okay. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> the visor just makes me think am I like a space person or like for the future now? <laughs> kind of makes me think that. Here, let's try selecting an eye color. It's very subtle, the eye colors, actually. Fair enough, I suppose. Face accessory color. Uh, I guess purple. If I do a face mask or something. Actually, you know what would make the most sense? All right, let's see how that looks for the front. Nah. We'll go with... That. Do I not get to choose my clothes? Are they just going to be white? All right, then that's fine, I guess. Let's continue. At least it's not in game with a Protegas of 10-year-old. Looks like I get to choose the... Age, I guess, based on what hair, like what hair style slash age I pick. Harbor Town Beach, jump and dash, jump. All right. So it's actually interesting. Godot is not often used for 3D engine games, but it recently got an update to extend how much it can do with 
3D, basically. It used to be able to do 3D anyways, but, like, they've extended how much it can do with 3D. So, that's kind of neat. Also, I do, I do think... Oh. I can't pause. All right, then. Hi. Yep. Okay. Hey. Traffic cabs don't take kind of the strange, it's regular for that matter. Also, I realize it is indeed still a bit loud. I'll turn it down a bit. All right, cassette tape. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Well, obviously spooky. Yeah. Is Esler here? I thought so. Ba bond sheep or band sheep? The eerie moans of the wild band sheep at night have been led many to believe they are restless and dead spirits, but this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just have like to have a bit of a wine. Who doesn't? Oh, okay. So I can raise the monster tape stars to get more information. All right then. Hmm. Ghost sheep for ghost dog. Yes. <laughs> Free, you'll just in a moment. To what? be in a ghost sheet. Oh, okay. I like the uh, I like the design of the uh, hut here. Let's see, smack hits one target. Okay. Spit, call for help. Let's see that? Never mind. I don't need to. Plastic! They look like Legos. Yeah, so pretty well there. Uh, what's I'm your name? Kaylee. That she sure are. Nice to make your acquaintance, Charm. And anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Yeah, I'd like clothes if possible. Yep, we sure are walking. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? What's this place? Welcome to Harper Town. <laughs> new home. My new home. Yeah, uh... Uh, yeah, right. Sorry, I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how to best break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. I don't feel so great. Dead. <laughs> I don't feel so great. Die. Wonderful. Kelly gave me quite a fright when she came knocking my door. <sighs> Had me scared a moment, sure. I don't think it's anything serious. Transferring for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Oh, that's what they mean by lyrics. That's kind of neat. It's rare you hear a background track for a game where just lyrics exist, you know? Nice. Oh, there happened to be a spare home. How convenient. On Earth? Kelly, you haven't told him? Sorry. I'm not interrupting you, but you're on an island called New Weirl. It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's what we think. I'm afraid not. No way back. Okay, we're stuck on an island. Strange listening to lyrics or reading dialogue. It is a little bit odd. I think that's why a lot of games don't do it. Because it can be a little bit of... It's hard to read dialogue while also listening to words, isn't it? Castle has been trying to get back to the worlds for a century. Now it's succeeded. <laughs> but there's community in Carpet Town. It's not a bad life. Like, safe if Harper the monsters. Yeah. Going on patrol soon. I'd like you to join me. Meet by the gates. Okay. I mean, try to really say hi to your new neighbors. I'm sure, pretty sure, word has already gotten round. There's a new lad in town. Uh, Got some clothes. Might be out of fashion for era. That's all we have. Okay. Hmm. I like her hat. It's a good artiste hat. It is a bit weird, but the lyrics are nice. Oh, okay. Oh, we have. Oh, is this like um? All right. Handbook? Ranger Handbook? Am I playing... Ro R I have a Ranger Handbook. Am I playing Pokemon Ranger again? By the way, we will get back to that. Yeah, Ranger Handbook. Oh. Oh, card. Details the elemental types of monsters. Okay. Oh. That's a lot of types. 
That's a total of 14 types. Beast, air, astral, earth, fire, ice, lightning, metal, plant, plastic, poison, water, glass, and glitter. Glitter. You know, glitter is a pretty dangerous attack. You use a glitter attack, and then it, then you never, you can never get rid of the glitter after that. It's stuck around you forever. Plastic. Please recycle. All right, now that we have some proper music going, how's this volume? Is that a good volume? I'm noticing also we have a bit of a Zelda style map here. That's cute. Reminds me of, you know, Link's Awakening. Good stuff. I, lo I love me a grid map. It's very easy to understand. Okay, so I'll get abilities later. Maybe a bit quieter. It's okay. I'll tip it down one more for you if you like. Um, actually, could somebody do me a favor and summon Essler? He would be watching right now if he knew there were sheeps. I'm sure he would. Sometimes affect each other in ways beyond damage. Let's take a look at that again, actually. It was a lot of information all at once, but... Let's see. Green. Ah! So if an air type attacks an astral type, it's not more damage. They get an AP boost. Multi-target boost. Okay, so it's not just a damage boost. It's... It's a buff or a debuff, or a transmutation, which I guess changes how things work on the battle. Glitter coating for anything related to glitter, which makes sense. Poison coating, ice coating, and flinched. Okay. So it's more dynamic than just more damage, less damage. Yeah, give, him a, give him a little ping. Give him a little poke. Oh. Oh, I can change my clothes now. Hold on. I wonder why I couldn't before. Alright. Sweater, t-shirt. What the hell that say it, actually? I like the jacket. Jackets are good. Vintage dress! Oh, an apron. I want to look like Tom Duke. If I want to look like I run a shop. <laughs> oh, a poncho. That's kind of neat. A new jacket. It's always a hard one. Now that I know I'm able to have purple clothes, let's do this. If you look at my hair, it's not purple. It is pink in my avatar, after all. Yes, I am mentioning Sheep, which I feel like he would like to come by and see. He was here a little earlier, but he missed this game, which is a bit of a shame. I think I'll go with that style. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Flower! <laughs> Wait, why is my mailbox inside my house? What is this? It's a weird place for a mailbox. Let's just... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Check it anyways, this will connect to the internet. Uh, a keypad? Huh. Apparently, there is a code. 
Let's see. Mm -hmm. No? Nothing? Damn. Does that not work? Apparently there are codes online for this. I'm checking this. So there, uh, codes will pop up from now again. I guess for the looks of it, there's old codes and new codes, so... Huh. Yeah, apparently there's codes that should work, but don't always. Yeah, it's not working, so I guess these are just outdated or something. Huh. That's still kind of neat, though, even if... <laughs> That's cool. So if you keep uh, track of the social media, you can get codes now and then. Ah, designed for specific campaigns. Keep an eye on shell social to see if new ones drop in the future. Okay. So I guess I keep them around very, very briefly. Well, fair enough then. I can't find a current code, sadly. Honestly, these things should always have a current code. Hey, Esther, it's funny you left right before Sheep showed up. You are silly. All right, you want to see a you want to see a sheep? Okay, because I can't I cannot do codes apparently. So you know what's weird? I can I can sprint in this game, but only in a straight line and only for a little bit, and then I get tired. That's kind of weird. <laughs> apparently, I can jump on people. <laughs> Didn't know that till just now. So there's verticality to consider. Left after B showed up. Oh, did it bother you that much? It didn't even look like a B though. Oh, punchers. Hmm. Element sticker pack. A theme booster pack of four stickers. Huh. Okay. Rangers of latest iteration. Gathering resources to cease people's concerns. Hmm. Well, hmm. Several rooms will ensure to different forms depending whether it's day or night. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a Sylvian, or sorry, we got an Umbreon Espeon, Espeon thing here then. It's empty. That's a shame. Hello, sweetie. Okay. Hey. How's this work? You need to be stronger. That's right. Come and give you custom workout design to adjust the base stats you're human for. They'll affect the strength of transformations. Hmm. Okay. Redistribute. I see. Redistribute your points. Nah. Oh, I don't have the gym pass. Bye. That's fair, I don't even know where the point should go. I must say, Esler, the, the bees were very, very effective in that game. <laughs> okay, and quest board, alright then. Alright, I see how this works. So I don't know why I can't just run. It only lets me run for so long, and I don't know how I feel about that. <sighs> okay, off I go then. I, okay. <laughs> Oh, Zoomy. There's more than that game for TF stuff. Even that's the only one that everybody focuses on. 
Welcome. Supplies. What do we got here? Restores HP of one tape. Oh, it's a fucking yeah. Because a pencil, you can do that with a pencil. You can rewind cassette tapes using a pencil. I remember that. That's the old days. Respool fixes and rewinds broken tape. Use up term when using combat. Okay. Deodorant. Unisex. First for that to deodorant. Repel monsters. Okay. Successful escape. That's a poke doll. Poison cure. Burn cure. Sleep cure. Okay. Goodbye. All pretty sensible and understandable. I wonder if there's any like. Okay. What if I can just loot stuff? Oh. Hmm. You'll see sheep soon, Nestler. It just works. It just works, okay. Take the Todd Hauer approach to why do these cassettes let me do this? It just works. I better. Aww. <laughs> you poor thing. You are seriously bothered by bee bees way more than I would even expect. I mean, I know you bothered by bees, but just how much they bother you, even in fiction. I'm really sorry. Ooh, it's a French person. I am Clemence. Okay, months. <laughs> ah, you also sell the same items. Okay. Bonjour. Was... Au revoir. Bonjour. Huh. Au revoir. Yeah. It's interesting to have lyrics in the music like this. It's not bad, though. It's a nice, chill song, so... I can vibe. The song is probably not making any less sleepy. Also, hey there, Red. Ah. Sorry. Oh, elevator, okay. Fair enough, then. <laughs> it's a silly little shelter. Is the music upright? I don't believe it is. <laughs> or at least... Should be usable in-game, all the same. Alright, Esther, you're gonna see a sheep soon. Hmm. So now I've left town. The Zelda map is kind of nice. I'm going to just try to open it up. What's this? Tis wood! Actually, a lot of wood. The tree dispensed a lot of its wood into that chest, I suppose. Bit of clever walking can unlock more portions of the map before I... This music is kind of messy with me. Oh, really? Like, kind of, what way? Hi. All right, errand. Well, cracks. Go check it. Make sure it's safe. Hmm. Okay. The lyrics is really a good idea. Oh, I can push her. Goodbye. Uh, I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that result. <laughs> I want a hang glider. Hmm. It's rather scary than a lot of Pokemon games. Yes, very true. Her monster can fly, remember? Oh, that's true. Hold on, I gotta... There we go. <laughs> I was like, I bet if I do this just right, I can, uh... <laughs> I can open that map portion. Uh... Hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Guess so. 
It's like riding a bike, except for you're a monster. Except for, you know, if the bike transformed to a moody folding sheep. Also, you're the bike. Hmm. See that cream of the boots? It's spring yellow. It's gonna get aggressive. You're getting closer. You're gonna get closer first. Looks like Kate Seth. <laughs> It's also a ghost sheep. Action points. Pay attention to these orange squares. Their action points are AP. Okay. I've seen AP systems in RPGs. Their partner is two per turn. Extra one, they land a type of edge attack. Oh, okay. So, in other words, that's where type of edge really plays into things. Gets extra AP. Sheer luck. Battering Ram and Smack. So, let's see. Green bar is his health, red is yours. Red is my bar? Okay. If it form loses all of his health, its tape will break and need repairing. Any extra damage to attack that broke will apply to your health, the red bar. Okay. So we have two health bars, effectively. Both of us lose our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harp Dead. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. He could. So that's what summoning does. All right. Oh, come on! I missed. <laughs> okay. F I didn't know you had a fucking flamethrower traffic cone crab. Bird characters take damage at the end of their turn. I don't think that matters. It, it kind of got defeated. <laughs> it made a good bar, but it missed. It missed that bar. Uh, obtain Sonic Moon and Khan. Okay, so new skill. Damage based on range defense uh, if higher. Damage based on range defense if higher. Interesting. So range. It, its damage doesn't either uses range attack or range defense, whatever's higher. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what to think about this game just yet. Oh. I was gonna say, like, what happens if I go in this cave? It just turns the camera. Alright, cool. Hmm. So she has Serenade. Particularly loud creatures that amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have too much awareness of whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Okay. Why did she start gliding? Just to show off? Oh yeah, by the way, I can show the bestiary entry. For... Banshee. The eerie modes of the wild banshee and I have led many to believe they are restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just ha like to have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? The bod hit in my heart. <laughs> well, I'm glad it. I'm glad it. I'm glad it worked out for you. I also wonder if I can. Yeah, I can walk on this. I wonder if there's any like goodies. Oh, whoops. The thing that's really weirding me out is why do I have a stamina meter? Why can I only run a little bit, and if I drain the stamina meter, I actually stop moving? I'm actually kind of weirded out by that decision. Hey. Need a break? We can rest here. I was going to fight. Would you please shut up for a second? Bumfire pits mark areas. I was going to ambush this creature. Come on. Well, no, never mind that then. Oh, failed. Oh well. Let's see if we can actually get a battery and ram to work this time. There we go. Accuracy down. Oh, now we have a snake.
Raise arms. Carter Viper, you don't have arms. <laughs> how, did, how did he use raise arms? Sharpen. Raises user melee attack. Okay, so this is a melee based creature. Good to know. I wonder what the sheep is sharpening. Sharpen horns. Oh, okay. That could make sense. That definitely that definitely increased damage. <laughs> Not sure about the sad track. A lot of Pokemon games are really peppy, but this kind of sounds like I don't know. It feels almost. It feels too chill. I guess that's how I put it. Oh, I have to use wood to rest. That's fair. Tape storage. Yeah, if you get extra tapes. I'm gonna guess there's some way to turn monsters into tapes so you can play them and be them too. I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland had a bunch of great places to camp out. My dad would drive the two of us into the countryside and we'd stargaze together. Kind of you makes me nostalgic for that time. Gotta burn something. Wool's burnable. Just to say. So there's also a day night cycle. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh, thanks. Use those to rewind any monster tapes you have on the go. Stay safe out there. What does rewinding the tapes do, though? Is that... Is that just, like, healing? Yeah, it is healing. Okay. Ambush! Jump scare. Ouch. Flinched. Skips his next turn, that's a shame. Huh. Speed down, okay then. Oh, it's speed down at everybody but itself, huh. Another flinch? My goodness, that's annoying. Okay, that seems way too reliable, that flinch. It's happening every single time. That's kind of lame. Okay, finally it didn't do the flinch. God, that's more that's worse than bites from Pokémon. Noted though. <laughs> I'm glad to make Esler happy. <laughs> Gotta dodge. We need some we need to get some health, so. Spring kill seems actually very disruptive, though. What's it doing? Accuracy down? Aww. Oh well. Haha! <laughs> you missed two, though! These are wild monsters, apparently. Provoke. Prince supposed to directly target the user for three turns. Oh. Oh, the user's ally. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Provoke skills are ideally used in RPGs, but they can be very strategic at the right time.
Aha! That's good. Yeah, make you make use of jump scares on our end now. I do like this sheep though, he looks neat. It's a good design. Oh, bite! Sheep got bite. Oh, it heals as well. So this is the bite in this game doesn't do flinch, but it does do healing. I'm down. Ow, I broke my leg. <laughs> Death perception is hard. Oh, what's that over there? That's a weird enemy. Healing is very good. Let's fight. That's pretty good healing, actually. Granted, I did a big bite, but still. Anything that lets you heals is, in my book, a good thing. What's this? Puffo! It's a palm bomb. Oh, okay. Probably explodes. Good, Bob. Better. Why not have them together? Hmm. Oh, hello. When did you respawn? Dodge kinda paid off then. Yeah, this seems like a very good heal tank. camp again. I'm just taking the logical response to any RPG. And that is, of course, get some levels right off the gate. <laughs> Always a good idea. Wait, did I rest? Yeah, now I did. Oh, you can rest through the day to turn to night. You can rest through night to turn to day. I see. I actually double rested because I wasn't sure what I was doing. No biggie. Oh, but there's different things at night, isn't there? I just thought about that. Different monsters and such. Come on, this way! I literally can't take the path you just took. What the hell, dude? <laughs> what was that? What was that path choice? I love characters that railroad you. I really don't understand the point of this stamina meter, though. Seems a little... redundant. 
I probably should turn to knight and fight a knight, huh? Yay, it's wheat and pulp. There are other buttons. Yes, yes, there are. They serve other kind of normal RPG purposes, like like switching turn and stuff. Here, let's go ahead and just one rest. Get it to night. Let's see what happens at night. All right, now what comes out in the night? Uh, well, there's another traffic guy. So nothing too different so far. Toxic stab, that sounds... Yep, that's bad. Poison sucks. Nope, not dead yet. What does record do? Oh, blank tapes! These are our Pokeballs, guys. Once I get some blank tapes, I can probably throw them at weak enemies and capture them. That's what record does. Makes sense, really. Get a blank tape, record the enemy onto it. Hey, Rocky. It is the, yeah. When it comes to a monster catch game, it's just, it's it's a question of guess the Pokeball stand in, you know? Uh. Come on, it's this way. Yeah, but uh, would you like to explain the... Okay, you're just showing off now. Stop that. <laughs> Come on, it's this way. What? You can't just fly up a sheer cliff? Come on. I don't know what's going on there. I guess it's wind, but it sounds like water for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. That must be we get to. Okay. Is that a moth? I think I'm gonna fight a moth. Yeah. Tis a moth. Okay. Oh, now I got okay. Records monsters from a normal position rate. Okay, now I have some blank tapes. Something about a monster is a new world. When weak and their essence could be well, record the cassette tapes. Don't entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. Good night, Red. I mean, it's forcing me to. I'm weak at it first normally, but all right. Okay. Huh. Does that happen over the course of a turn? That's kind of interesting. Domin da moths see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies and woodland areas. The only thing to distract them from their normal duties are bright lights such as lamps. They will serve justice unless there is some lamp in the vicinity. 
Rather, according to receipts, amounts down to chance. Some records increase the probability. How much health? It's level of rarity. How much damage you dealt while recording? Oh, so you want to do damage while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. So you want to hurt it while recording it. That's you. That's interesting. All right. Hmm. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't have to worry about knocking it out. Okay. Huh. Moves you have access when you use the tape to battle to determine what stickers are attached to the tape. You can use moves to a tape by applying stickers for the inventory. Okay. Moves you don't want can be filled with stickers and put in your inventory. Okay. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but only play this apply to a single tape at a time. Okay. Oh, that's what these are. They're stickers. Okay. Oh, we recorded. Oh, right. Of course. It's not dead. We just recorded a copy. All right. It takes too much to flee, so you won't be able to record it. But it can't if we're in the middle of recording it. Sensible. So we can- that also means we can switch stickers around as much as we want, too. That song went pretty dang hard. And I got Zephyr as well. Range hits one target. I fly now. Is this meant to happen? Some monster force gives us extra abilities to require them, so beyond being able to take their shapes. Don't panic! Oh, okay. Now I come off wing glide. <laughs> okay. Hold A to glide across long distances. Consume stamina. Alright. Sorry. Sorry, I should probably have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. Use this to glide across the gap. That yeah, she already had it, so that makes sense. So wait, can I just like, hold on, go into the party. Like. So we can just. So I'm no, just noticing she's like the range character, right? HP, range attack. Actually, she's very balanced. Sir Sirenade though is more focused on range attack, so yeah. And let's check this tape. This is focused on range attack, range defense. Actually, no, it's mostly balanced but focused towards range defense. Hmm. And sheep. Sheep is very balanced too. Actually, more. Huh. Okay, so once again, I can kind of do whatever I want with sheep. Alright then. Well, I just want to peel all their stickers off. Because I don't really see the point. Uh, well, I guess there is a point to having multiple tapes with stickers, but I gotta think about this for a second. Because if I check her tape, yeah, so can I just peel any stickers I want? I guess I can. So I can just create a custom loadout however I want amongst six moves. Alright. Just thinking. Actually, it's quite a lot of customization. Sheer luck. The user's evasion is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP lost. Oh! Oh, there's passives. You could just load up passives on a monster. They wouldn't have that many moves, but they would just have all these passive advantages. Oh. Okay, so Zephyr and Psy Boom cannot be equipped to the sheep. Probably because it's not of that element? Then again, it's not of the poison element, yet I can equip that. Hmm. There must be some logic to it. They're beast, so I'm guessing a beast can't equip wind. For one reason or another. Cycle for 550. If you want to just get rid of it, I guess.
Wait, that raises an important question then. Can can Sirenate equip those? Actually, what can Sirenate equip and not equip? Okay, yeah, they can totally equip Zephyr and Sonic Boom. Alright. I'm just like, if she's gonna focus a range, then. That is based on range defensive higher. It isn't, but. Okay. So Zephyr is like a weaker version of that, because it only hits one target. Got it. So you can just do all whatever you want here, but I guess the best setup is probably going to be... Bite is definitely a good one. So let's put on... Actually, it makes more sense for Bansheep to have the Provoke because he, he can heal. Oh, do I have multiple copies of Smack? I guess I do. But if the Moth had that move, they make great use of that range of defense. Did it have high range of defense? Let's see. 122, but how does it compare to Sirenades? 132, range attack. Still better on Sirenade! Also, Elemental Bow. I, I wonder if there's a stab in this. Not sure. I'm gonna mostly equip things back to how they were. I'm just I was just kinda looking, experimenting. I do know they're kinda slow though, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give them sprint. So they can actually freaking do things. But they are weirdly slow. I don't know why. Wait a minute. Bite's just better than Battering Ram. Fuck Battering Ram, apparently. Does more damage, has better accuracy, and heals. Battering Ram causes slowness, but I don't think that's really worth it for the lack of accuracy. Come on now. We're gonna, we're gonna put Call for help. Battering Ram's friends too. Yep, that's fine. And... Yeah, I mean, it'll just be an emergency backup tape. I, yeah, I, I put all my... I'm putting all my... not. You want to know OP starters? You want to know another reason why that's an accurate statement? Look, Dalvin Moth only gets four slots for moves. The starters got six slots. So... Yeah. Starters are just better. Better is best because you do a ba. That's true. Also, thank you very much, Hyperion. It's kind of you. Pass to reduce incoming glitter type damage and gates any reactions that would occur. It's not affect your credits. Well, that's true, but I think we would do better biting things. So. So I guess, uh. I'm just noticing something. Battery ram cannot be equipped to anybody, except for the sheep. Huh. I mean, I, mean, I guess that makes sense, but... Hmm, supplies, leaving to each other. Should take them instead. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so we now have the ability to glide. I guess. I say I guess because I don't actually know how to use it. Let's see. Ow. Oh, that's how. Okay. So it's got to be a higher ledge than 
the one you're aiming for that you go from. All right, sensible enough. Rude, would give it to everyone. <laughs> Nah. Oh. Noises. Oh, Puppo! But a big one. Let's see. Dandelion! Sensible. Well, not really a puppo then, actually. It did make a bark, though, in my defense. Air type attacks an uproot plant type targets is connected for the source of the nutrients, the ground. Here's the AP dream game, one fewer AP each round. Okay, so that's. Okay, so we uproot with air attacks. Interesting. Huh. Okay, and then Crab builds Legos. Okay then. It's plastic. What what counters plastic? Man, I wish I could look at the type chart in battle. I don't think I can though, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, that cool. Ah, the other way around. So, lightning defeats plastic? Okay. I don't have that. And earth defeats plastic, apparently. Don't worry, call for help still boss, Zessler. <laughs> Just an observation. Ow. They really like the target Kaylee. <laughs> Wallop. Okay. So the tapes in, even if they're not being used, the tapes do level up as well. Okay. Two for 60 power. Okay. It's melee. Hmm. Just check your site. Two for 60. Actually, that is kind of useful. I think I'd put that on. Maybe over... Would I put that over smack? Yeah, I think I would, actually. Oh, there is a move sticker. I was wondering about that, actually. Yeah, it would probably be more efficient. Oh, move is in. Okay. Somebody could just move stickers between two targets. That would be really handy. Smack, smack! Double smack. I don't know. It's kind of pointless, I suppose. Or is it? I wonder if there's a, some point to having the same move twice. Perhaps it does something. I don't know. My point is, though, I think Wallop's a little more worth having here than Smack. Being it's two points, so... Yeah, that'll do. You're playing the fun game. I mean, the other ones that I was playing tonight were fun, too. Don't, don't diss. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's heal. Okay. Gotcha. I think there's a boss ahead, by the way. We'll beat that to finish off this uh, playthrough. This Heller. I'm not sure how I feel about the battle system, by the way. It's it's okay. Ah! It is an okay battle system. Oh, huh, I missed. That's fine, though. Oh, you want to do that shit? Okay, you want biting? Bite. Mm -hmm. Why did he run away with a laugh like he's still... Like, aha, you made it to feed me, but I still took the advantage here. Status effects. Sacrifice 20% of HP to create a wall that was over the three hits for up to three turns. Okay. Elemental wall, so I imagine it matches the element whoever uses it. I, I One thing I wish is... um. Whenever I get new abilities, they get automatically added to a certain character. It'd be nice if they just didn't get added to any character and I just chose who to add it to. That'd be kind of neat. But also, yeah, that seems good. Considering si Sirenade gets all the hits taken, may as well give them a wall ability if they're getting walled a bit. See, so yeah, the one thing I would say is that I find the music a little odd in this game. They may be a lion, but they bark like a dog. I want to point this out. But, uh... Maybe it's you can't gain new abilities unless you keep a slot open. Ooh. Well, the game didn't say that, though. It might be true, though. I'm not sure. A, that's a thought, though. Wait, why did they take extra damage? What happened there? Oh, I see, because they built the wall. Dang. If you gain the ability of full slots, it goes to your secret storage. Okay, good, because that would be kind of lame. RPGs go, I feel kind of middle range about this. It's an okay battle system. I've been actually seeing a lot of RPGs lately that use an AP system. It's very commonly used these days. I don't know why. It's fine, I guess. I prefer a more traditional MP system, personally, but... Hmm. What? Dungeon! Was this always here? I don't know. This is normal? Okay. Has it always been buried here? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm gonna go fall. I'm gonna go jump in a pipe. I've done it. Secret. So these rocks are very obviously like things I can break, right? Hmm. Not easy to get out of that situation I put myself in, huh? I don't think they intended you to go in there without the ability to swim, probably. Oh wow, this guy has really come for me. <laughs> Alright, color me curious. What's in here? Huh? A train station? It should be okay to look around, right? I mean, yeah, it just rose out of the ground mysteriously. It's fine. Oh, what is this music? Uh, that's mildly unsettling. Is 
It smells, it smells like burning metal. I can't explain it. Ritual. <laughs> I got ritual in the creepy train station. Brings your user back to life at 25% HP upon defeat. Oh, uh, wait, it says status effect. I I love rich, dark rituals. I feel like doing that with sheep may make a lot of sense, but, uh... Actually, you know what? No, yeah, I totally would. So I have to figure out what to place. I guess I'll replace call for help. I don't really need help. I'm powerful without help. Oh, I can't equip it. All right. Well, who can? Can they equip it? They cannot equip. They cannot equip the ritual. Who knows the ritual? Do you know the ritual? They do not know the ritual either. No one knows the ritual. <laughs> six. Six what? Wait. Hold on. Six? Gives yourself a buff next time you die with a buff when you come back. I understand. I can't seem to equip it, though. What's this about si Oh, six AP required. I see. That's why I can't equip it. That's a lot of AP. Charm, can you feel something in the air? Yes, dust. Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child, so they may see you one last time. Okay. This is... The long conflict is drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Charm, I think this is an Archangel. We need to leave, now. This isn't like the other monsters. We're not safe here. Where are you? No. No, no, you are not my kin. You should you come for me again, sword in hand. Oh, no. Uh oh Okay. It's a broken spirit, huh? Level 100, but has, like, no health. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Thank goodness for that wall. All right, let's see here. Uh. Archangels, okay, unlike monsters, the other monsters spend AP to use their moves. Archangels can accumulate all their AP until it reaches 10. Once they reach 10 HP, it'll release all that power much in its unique and angelic attack. The survive these three moves is tragically into either step of solid defense and preparation to defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. Okay, that's a weird system, but alright. It's not the end for us. It can't be. Oh, okay. I refuse. You do. Well, you sound like an Ace Attorney character. We're gonna fight this thing. And we're gonna do it together. Okay. The fusion mechanic. Benade. Your goals are aligned to those of your combat. You can fuse and become a singular, more powerful beast. Though actually, Esther, you're wrong about one thing. 
lyrics and music works really well if you're Persona and doing a boss fight. So fusion meter, huh? Okay, four AP instead of two. You have access to all the moves of both tapes combined. And stats are added together. Oh, okay. I did say rarely, that's true. I just like thought about that. I was like, ah, but you know. Take advantage of the raised damage. Coda Morgana. Oh fuck. I see. Huh, what happens if I... Okay. I think I'm getting either either I'm getting exceptionally lucky or this is kind of scripted. Let's test which of those which of those it is. Okay. Scripted. Yeah, fair enough. I wonder why their basic attack got stronger after using that unleashing that powerful attack. Maybe it gave him a buff of some sort. Shame it was scripted. I would have liked it if I could have lost that, actually. Would have been a little more interesting. A little more epic than that situation. So we got an air wall. Oh, specifically the air wall. And taunt. Since target berserk, first I use only damage moves. So that's a, I don't use, really use taunts, but okay. Upgrade. Ingrate, up, instantly upgrades a tape by one star. Okay. How does the musical ending last phase of a song? How did we... Through the power of I don't want to die, that's how. Also, how little sparkle done? Okay, I can glide longer. Oh, my stamina goes up over... That's cool. My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I wanna go home. I see, there is a way, but there are, but there are, there are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel, you require a guide. Rebuild my strength, and in turn I shall lead you from this land. Vessel? Very well. Okay. Song. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. You okay? What happened? You blinked out for a second there. You should get out of here. Huh. So it is Persona. Hmm. Yeah, the, the the lyrical boss music immediately made me think Persona. That was that was effectively a Persona song. Can we all agree there? Like if that if that was played in a Persona game, would have fit right in. It was good though, because I like Persona's music. Okay. That was fusy. <laughs> Here's a weird phenomenon. They are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two people most firmly able to unite and form one powerful beating. I guess that includes nearly getting killed. But, you know, a drill will do a lot, you know? <laughs> Felt strange. That moment I was sure to buy of you, and the thing was, the thing we became was both us and not us at the same time. Huh. Sorry. I will say. And this is just a personal pet peeve, so if you're okay with this, that's completely understandable. But I have to, you know, there's there's three ways. There's like four main ways to do vo to do voice acting with text. One is just to have text and no sound whatsoever, no voice or anything. Another way is, of course, to have text and a voice act it. You know, speak all the lines being said out in the text. A third way to do it is the Banjo Kazooie method, where it's just rah, 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 sounds along with text. That's fine too. But then there's the fourth style, and I don't like the fourth style. The fourth style is it's mostly quiet when there's text, but occasionally the character makes some weird utterance in the middle of the lines. 
like this game does. And I must say, out of all the styles, I'm fine with every f style with voice and text, except for that last one. For some reason, it really bugs me when the character just makes sounds every now and then. I'm okay with the Banjo Kazooie style, where it's all the time, because it's consistent. But when the characters just occasionally make an utterance in the middle of that text lines, it feels really distracting, doesn't it? I don't know. New Persona Z2. Yeah, a number of RPGs, both big and small, do it. I don't. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, so, for instance, because like I'm mostly just reading the text without sound, but occasionally a character just interrupts my reading with sound. It kind of breaks my brain a little bit, and then I get distracted. You know. Yeah. Like, if they're gonna say some lines, why don't they say all the dialogue? Why don't, instead of just, yeah, why don't you go, yeah, I guess you're right. Why don't you say the rest of the line? Why half-ass it? I don't know. <laughs> it, the reason is because it takes a lot of effort to voice act an entire game, I understand. But, like, I don't prefer that half half approach. I, I'm not a big fan of it. It's also very of this style that they voice act the first word of each line. Voice act, I mean, yeah, I just, I prefer it either all or nothing, I suppose. All, nothing, or just make garbly Banjo Kazooie language. That's how I prefer it. I don't like the now and then approach. It seems kind of weird. Archangels. <laughs> Archangels. Uh, maybe I would like this a bit more if the voice actor was a little bit better, admittedly. <laughs> maybe that's actually part of the problem. So, Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Well. Hmm. So there's a lot of terms, okay. I guess it's also a personal pet peeve because this style here, it, it sucks for me as a streamer because if I want to read out the lines to you guys, cool, but then the character's occasionally interrupting me, you know? <laughs> So, uh, speaking from a streamer slash YouTuber perspective, this half approach is dis is very disruptive because it's not the characters reading their own lines, and it and but if I try to read their lines and they're interrupting me occasionally with words, I can't really win, you know. <laughs> hmm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I movies. <sighs> I watched one or two in the last five years, maybe. I know movies. I know of the concept. <laughs> Actually, the art. I'm not sure how I feel about the the 3D model of that boss was cool. So there's definitely a lot of potential here with the art. I'm not sure about the pixel. I don't sure about the characters. They feel a little generic for me. No, not like the monsters. The monsters are fine, but like the human characters. Overworld sprites. But yeah, I guess we got our persona unlocked or whatever. You and I. You and I. And my sword and my shield. I don't know, that voice. I don't know. She's she's trying, alright? She's trying. I just don't know about it. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, wow, that's very Persona 2. So it's it's barring for Pokemon, it's barring for Persona. That ex the Persona is probably why there's lyrical music. Um, I do appreciate that, by the way. I like the lyrical music. Okay, building relationships, you can closer to complete their quest, buy a battle alongside them, you take a break at a campfire cafe to level up the relationship. Okay. Okay. Okay, RJ is a complete Bergante's song, then Father I want to say Bergana. <laughs> Father Clues contains to find your way home. Okay. Okay. Tis an interesting game. I'm not sure if I'm really, really, like, blown away, or like... 
I don't know. The, the RPGs are a bit finicky, so I'm not sure I would say that I'm, like, really amazed by the uh, RPG combat here. It's it's fine. It's fine. Um, let me call their work out briefly. <laughs> so wait, hold on a second. I'm checking something. Three hits, three turns, three hits, three hits. Okay, so, like, Elemental Wall... What is there between an Elemental Wall and Air Wall? I don't think there really is one. I'll give them air wall, I guess. So that's what the hearts are, too. Okay, then. Okay. But there's also hearts on the tapes. So that's interesting. Can I get a level up fruit? How do I use that? It's okay to be uncertain. <laughs> the song. I, I kind of was in the back of my mind here. Alright, use on... So this will this increase the... Let me guess. Oh, it levels it up! Oh, I thought it was actually... I thought I did something else. Well, whatever. That would have... That, sure, why not? Probably best to save that for late game, but whatever. Cotton on! Reduce the accuracy of moves that can be evaded. That target the user to... Wait. Reduces the accuracy of moves that can be evaded that target the user to zero the percent for the next round. What is that sentence? That sentence broke my brain. What did that mean? Reduces the accuracy of moves that can be evaded that target the user to zero percent for the next round. What is that? Hold on. Moves that can be evaded the target of the user to zero percent. Okay. Reduces the accuracy of specifically moves that can be evaded and also target the user. That's really poorly written. <laughs> if the move can be evaded and targets specifically the user, this reduces the accuracy of those moves to zero for the next round. Okay. Sorry, that was slightly more, that was kind of poorly written though, <laughs> I'll be honest. I guess that's kind of useful savvy, though. Feels like this would be useful when I had a high- when I have a larger AP bar, though, admittedly. Because then I can use it, but not, like, still, like, use other things, too. I don't- I didn't say I didn't like the game. I'm- I'm not sure- I'm really on the fence about it, in my opinion, of this game. It's probably really p perfectly up some people's alleys, though. I'll say that. This is probably exactly what some people want. But yeah, I definitely think that could have been written better. Esther, yeah, if there wasn't a sheep, you wouldn't be saying that, but fair enough, I suppose. I think I like it. Clearly a lot of work was put into it. I'm just not... I think I'm a little tired of AP systems in RPGs, though. You know, the systems where it's like you get a certain number of points each round and you spend those for skills. It works, don't get me wrong, but I do kind of prefer an attack and MP, SP sort of system, you know? This is exactly what I want Sheep to swap. Oh, I can knock that off the wall. Oh my! I can cause utter destruction. Awesome. Ow. I feel like I constantly break my leg every time I jump off ledges. Ah. What's this? Angry guy. Oh, I can tell you again. Harvard County won't fall to you, blood suckers. So unreasonable. Hello? <sighs> Call it back to the darkness which you came from, or you'll have to go through me. Fight your kind before I won. Do you want a demonstration? <laughs> okay. So I just we know what's best for you all. Okay, bye vampires. <laughs> Tell the rest of your kind of this town is protected by Eugene. That's a name to strike fear in the hearts of God. Uh, let me know if those creeps bother you again, ma'am. Don't invite them to your house. Thank you. Okay. Ah. Hey. 
The name's Eugene. Hi. Hmm. They don't belong in this world! You <laughs> what is a man? So say that all the monsters in the world look like cereal mascots. Anyways, so gotta stake out those guys. Can't reach them sick of their team they're the good people of Harbor Town. <laughs> Alright. But they look so friendly, they were smiling and everything with their sharp teeth. Oh, that raises an interesting question. I guess they're sentient monsters then, effectively. Well, that was that was nice. I might mess around in this game on my own time a little bit more, kind of get an idea hey. of how I feel about it further. But this is not a bad game. Oh, hey, there's like shops now or something. Huh? Hi. Oh, merchant. Guzzle fuel. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> oh, I can I can break down the stickers to get more of this stuff. I wonder if the sheep can learn ice wall. Probably. They turn a gear button and kill you. Well, that's what I've heard. I haven't seen it for myself. Transfer the user status effects up to its ally, huh? Plastic coating. Change the type of user and ally to plastic, I guess. Plastic sheep. Reduce 2 AP for the target. Huh. You spend 2 AP to remove somebody else's 2 AP as well. And then hypnotize. Oh, hypnotize. That's a useful one. I bet the sheep can do that. If the, if the sheep can't make people count sheep, I'd be very surprised. Wait, was that... Hold on. Thanks for stopping by. Come back tomorrow and I have to... Oh, every day the stickers change. Okay. Well, that's kind of neat. That lets you get a nice, cool custom loadout anytime. Uh... Yeah, recycle for 50. It's an extra one. I don't need it. Wait. No, that's right. Sorry, I was confused about something. There we go. So some stickers I may not actually need and could just like get rid of to afford the sticker hey. merchant. How much do I need to buy that? A lot more. Sheesh. About you. Hmm. Ah, okay. You sell like attacks. Okay. Toy hammer. Okay. Here's the problem, though. I don't really know what what stickers my monsters can equip and what they can't. So I might just buy a sticker, thinking, "Oh, I like this attack," and then I can't use it. Check it out. I think if it says an uncommon, or I think if it says a rarity, it has additional. Huh. I only inflicts damage when a melee user attacks misses the melee attack misses the user. Oh, if you combine that with a dodge skill, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, I can't really afford any of these though. I have to get, make some money first. So I guess the stickers change every day too. So that's interesting. What, what's this? What's this one? I found the cave in the park. Let's find some inspiration. If I'm not back by noon, send help. I. Ow. Ow. One thing I will say, I hate the shadows. You notice how the shadows kind of, like, cast behind me? Um, so that's a problem. Because sometimes I don't land where I think I'm going to land because there's no shadow underneath me. I don't know where I'm actually landing. Kind of problematic, you know? That's why I've missed ledges now and then. Ability for mods of your current party. Yeah, I feel like there's... I feel like the customization system is a little slow. Ah, right. I'm not actually part of the ranger, so I can't do quests. Alright, I think I'm, uh... 
I think I'll call it here, though. We do, after all, have one more game to play. I'm really not sure what to say about this. I think it has some interesting ideas. I definitely don't think it's a bad game or anything. I'm just, on a critical level, I'm not sure how I feel about the battle system and how it all works out. I feel like the system is kind of interesting, but maybe a little needlessly complicated. It feels like sticker management is really kind of slow. I feel like they, I feel like it's not the fault of the sticker systems necessarily. I kind of like the sticker system, but I think the menus are really slow to navigate. I feel like there should be. Oh, it'd be really convenient if like, if the stickers instead of just being displayed in a list. Imagine if the stickers were like actually stickers on the screen. And on your, like, imagine if your your monster was on one side and there's a bunch of slots over your monster representing all their move slots. And then there's a whole list of stickers on the side and you could just drag and drop the stickers around really fast. That'd be kind of nice, like just stick and unstick them really easily. That would be a much better menu system for this. It'd be a lot more efficient. Um, obviously, it doesn't work necessarily on a controller, but even on a controller, it would be a faster system. Just swap, swapping between the slots, right? Because keep in mind, every time I go to a move slot on one of my uh, on one of my monsters, I have to select the slot, select a peeler sticker or add a sticker, and then select a new one, and then maybe hit move if I want to move around. It's very slow. I feel like there could be some more efficient HUD design with that, because um, the HUD the HUD is kind of slow with all that stuff. Especially if you're really trying to sort and customize. There's a lot of customization you could do. So I feel like that menu should be a lot more efficient than it is. The more you can customize something, the more you should hope the HUD for customization is simple, sleek, and efficient. So, um, yeah, I think they could have improved on that. And that kind of brings it down a little bit for me because of the amount of time I would probably be spending in those menus because I like to tinker, you know? Um, but Kasepi seems all right all overall. The bat actual battle system, pretty good. Uh, the customization of the stickers is really nice for the battling because obviously you can customize your monsters to, in a lot of different ways. I'm still not very clear what stickers they can and can't equip though. It does seem like they just can't equip some, so I feel like I will buy stickers if I keep playing. I feel like I'm going to buy stickers from the vendor thinking, oh, well, I'll make use of this and then it turns out I can't. So I'd like to understand, there's probably something to explain what stickers can be equipped to what monsters, but... I don't quite understand how that works exactly yet. It doesn't, it might be element based, but I'm not really sure. Because, I mean, my sheep isn't a poison type, but was able to equip a poison sticker, so I don't really understand the system yet. Maybe there's more information that I haven't run into for that. But yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's a mixed bag for me. I think this is a good game. If you were, like, overall, I think this is a good game. This seems to have some interesting going. The boss fight was very interesting, and I did, I do really like the Persona style boss music. That was very good. Um, so yeah, I think this is a, a mixed bag for me, but good overall. I'm just not sure how to feel about it. I'd have to play it more to really get an idea of if I think this is a good game or not. Like, for, like really good game. It's good. Is it great? I don't know. That might be up for you to decide, though. If it looks interesting to you, maybe check it out. But that was Cassette Beasts.